This is 320 Madison. This house is actually two houses grafted together. The left part was originally built on 2nd Avenue near Main Street in 1867 for Samuel P. Starrett. Sam served as a soldier during the Civil War. During one battle, he was struck in the head by an artillery shell, ah! an injury which eventually caused him to go blind. After the war, Sam came to Anoka with his wife, Jenny. Despite his visual impairment, Sam served as Anoka's postmaster for five years, probably with plenty of help from Jenny. The left portion of the house narrowly missed being destroyed by a huge fire that consumed much of downtown Anoka in 1884. Three years later, it was moved here and grafted onto the right part of the house. Past and present owners think Sam might still be around. The house contains some photos of the Starrett family that were left with the house, including a photo of Sam. One day, the owner decided to rearrange them. She moved the picture of Sam from one wall and hung it on the opposite. The next morning, she found the photo back in its original location across the room. After the same thing happened a couple more times, she gave up. If that's where Sam wants his picture, that's where it will stay. It seems spirits other than Sam may remain in this house as well. The owners have heard little footsteps of children running around upstairs. <laughs> they say all they have to do is look at the ceiling and say, it's getting a little noisy and the footsteps stop. When the previous owner moved into the home in 1973, she related the odd happenings to her minister. The minister suggested they hold a seance in the home. He brought a mixture of believers and skeptics with him into the home, as well as a medium. The medium was adamant that something traumatic had happened in the room upstairs. This was the room that Carrie Starrett Piper, one of Sam's daughters, was in when the tornado hit Anoka in 1939. People said she was never the same after that day. On one of the first ghost tours we led, someone took this picture of the house. Do you see anything strange? Many believe this is the figure of one of the house's former residents in the window, maybe even Sam himself. He was known to wear suspenders over a white shirt. 